Here is the Toyota Corolla. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now let's go ahead and get started. Open the driver's side door. Right over there at the bottom, pull the primary hood release lever. Now in front of the car, right about the Toyota emblem there on the other edge. Put one finger in there and up and left. Push it up and left and open up the hood. This hood requires a prop rod to stay in place. Grab the rod, put it in that slot with the arrow marking it, pull it back and now the hood is secure in place. Now once the hood is open, that right there is the main fuse panel cover. We have to get it off. So for that, press on the clip right over in the front. Just press it in with your thumb and once it's pressed in, at the same time try pulling the cover up. Yep, just like that. And now, see that's how you press it in. It goes in over there. And now let's focus on the back side. There are two clips over there. So you have to lift up the cover at an angle. And then sort of push it back to get the entire cover off. Now let's go ahead and get that white fuse puller. The way it works, it just goes on the fuse. And then you grab it and pull it off. And, it, and the fuse comes off with it. Let's focus on the fuse diagram. There's one fuse, 10 amp dome. That's the one for the interior light right beside the spare fuses. So get the fuse puller and get the fuse off. In my case, my fuse is good. So what happens the moment I pull it, the lights will all just go off. Let's take a closer look at this. In my case, the fuse is good because the metal part in the center is not broken. If yours is broken, then it's a bad fuse and that's very likely what the problem is. So let's get the 10 amp spare fuse over there and check if it's good or not. And this one looks good because the metal part is not broken and put it back in its original position. Always replace a 10 amp fuse with a 10 amp spare fuse only. Don't replace with anything else. Put the fuse puller back in its place once you're done. And now let's put the cover back on. Let's just get it back in position. And now let's focus on the rear clips first. It's going to take a few seconds to get it back in place. But once it does, uh, it should look like this. Let's take a closer look over there. Yep, that's what it should look like. Then just press the cover down, secure it in place. And that is pretty much it. To close the hood, first push it, get load off the prop rod, get the rod out of the slot, put it back in its place and secure it, lower the hood and slam it shut. Hope you found it useful. 